Hey everybody, it's Gary the Google Guy here with a really cool and new update for Google Sheets. You will now have the ability to create a timeline view in your sheet to maybe track and visualize your tasks a little bit easier and faster using this new timeline view. You can use it for project tasks, marketing campaigns, schedules, cross-team collaborations, and anything else that maybe you want to keep track of. So how does this work? Well, first off, you need to make sure that in order for it to work, you have to have at least one column of your data in date format, okay? So next up, we need to select our data or go to the timeline view piece. I'm gonna grab my data first. We're gonna go to the insert menu. And if for some reason you don't see this in your insert menu yet, you might need to empty your cookies and cache and that will refresh all of your browser menus, especially in your docs, your sheets and your slides and whatnot. We are in Google Sheets. This is probably not gonna work for you in a Microsoft Excel formatted file that you've got stored in Google Drive. So just FYI on that piece. But we're gonna select timeline. It's asking us, do we wanna use this data or do we wanna select our data range? We click OK since we've already selected. It will automatically create a new tab and you'll see now in a date range of what we have going on with this few tasks that we need to do for a new project. Up at the top, you'll see that you can tweak your view with days, weeks, months, quarters, years, and multi-year. The spreading out or snugging up of, comfortable and condensed. The screen size in terms of your zoom. The settings, which our settings panel is already open by default to the far right. So what can we do with this settings panel? Well, in this case, you'll see at the very top right of our screen, we could possibly tweak the data range that we've selected. Maybe we wanna look at this start date and finish date column and select that specifically. I had headers, so it recognized mine. The card title for tasks. We can also go to a specific task and or to a specific card and modify those. So for example, card color. Let's go to our tasks and then I'm gonna click on one of my tasks. From there to the right side of our screen in that settings panel, it will show us what we have selected date wise and information wise. The complete option, that is the checkbox that I've got there. So if you've got your checkboxes, true, false, complete, not complete. And then there is the card color. So let's say we want our task to be orange in that regard, and then you could color code them if you want. Now here's what's kind of cool. If I say, all right, we're good, we go back to our initial sheet, it's automatically color coded that as well. So if you color code them from here, it should sync up in your timeline view and vice versa. So once again, really cool update to be able to see your data in maybe just a little bit of a different way. People that are keeping track of dates and completion of tasks and things to do, this could be a really cool piece. Now down below in the description, I'm gonna put a couple of links for you so that you can immediately start looking at what type of data you need because there's a bunch of different type of data and all of that other pertinent information that will help you along in playing with this brand new tool. So until we meet again, another day, another time, another update. This is Gary the Google Guy, signing off.